most basic You live life on an everyday basis With poetic justice Poetic justice If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room Would you trust it? I mean I write poems in these songs Dedicated what is up you guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make extra income as a makeup artist yes extra income so i recently started doing makeup on mannequin heads and this is perfect for those who wear wigs and want something really cute to put it on so why not in this video i'm going to be showing you all my tips and tricks on how to achieve this look so first things first, you want to clean off your mannequin head with um, some alcohol. So this is just a cotton pad with alcohol on it. And you want to just wipe it down, make sure it's nice and clean so you can start applying your makeup. And I'm also going to have everything that I used in the description box below, so don't worry, I got you covered. Next, you want to start working on the brows. So for the brows, I did not use a regular eyebrow pencil. I used a dark brown matte lipstick. Yes, a matte lipstick. And right now I'm using an angled brush just to do the eyebrows, as you guys can see. And you want to just do very light strokes because the eyebrows are already there. So you just want it to look a little, you know, natural. And with anything that you're doing with this mannequin head, please just take your time. Take your time because once you do it, you just, you don't want to mess up with this mannequin head. So you want to just take your sweet time and just relax <laughs> and have a steady hand. So right now I'm just putting um, some concealer, you know, around the eyebrows like I would with any clients. You know, do you want to just treat the mannequin head like it's your client basically? So, um... The reason that this color concealer is so light is because I'm going to make her whole skin a darker color than what it is. Or like a more chocolatey color. Because this color isn't really like a real skin tone. It's like, I don't know, it's like pretty grayish. So I wanted to make it like more chocolatey. So that's why I'm using this color concealer. So like I said, you want to take your time because you don't want it to be crooked. Right now I'm taking my sweet time. It's sped up, but I'm actually going very, very slow. After you apply that concealer underneath her eyebrow, you wanna just blend it out right away because it does dry fast. It's still product going on the mannequin head. So you wanna work with it, you know, fairly quickly and, you know, blend it out right away. You don't want anything to just dry automatically because you know, then it's going to be hard to move it afterwards. So you want to blend it out now. One tip that I can say when doing the mannequin head is that, well, this is a tip for me. I don't know if other people do it, but I don't set the mannequin head with powder at all. Um, I feel as though this is a mannequin head. This is not an actual face. So there's no need for like setting powder because it's not going to get oily, you know, at the end of the day. So I don't use any powder. The real powder that I use is probably like the eyeshadow and the blush. But other than that, I don't use powder. And you're probably wondering like, if you don't use powder, then how do you keep everything and set it? So in the ending, I use my regular Morphe spray. I don't use a lot, I just lightly spray it. And then I also use this product called Mod Podge. I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen right now and I spray that on it in the end as well and it keeps it from moving all over the place basically. So that's basically my setting powder. <laughs> right now I'm moving towards the eyeshadow. I put an orange shadow at first all over the eye and I don't know, I was just trying to play with it. I didn't really know what I was going for, but I started using like a black just to like give it like some definition and give it some colors and stuff. Um, but yeah, you guys are going to see, I just kind of played around with the eyes, but I'm going to add some eyeliner in a minute. So the eyes really, really don't matter like that. And, um, plus the mannequin heads, you know, they don't have a lot of eye space, so it's just hard to, to work with sometimes, but yeah. So right now I'm just putting on some white eyeliner i already applied the black eyeliner off camera as you guys can see because i kind of wanted to see what shape i was going for and as you guys could see it's like a little cat eye kind of going on and you know i liked it <laughs> And 
with the mannequin head, you just want to play around with it. Have fun. Like, I added lashes, like bottom lashes in the ending. As you guys, could, you're going to see in the end that I added bottom lashes. But, you know, you can add freckles. You can add glitter. You can add anything you want. So, you just want to have fun when creating this. And it's also so relaxing. Like, if you're stressed out and you just want to, like... <laughs> This is considered like something similar to like adult painting or adult coloring like it's so relaxing doing this because It's like a project that you're getting done. So So yeah guys, this is what I was talking about earlier I used like a darker shade to like cover her entire face and body so um, With this foundation I used a Maybelline foundation and a NARS foundation mixed together so you do want to use quality products when you're doing your mannequin head so it can really stick I know some people say that you should use cheap products but no you actually have to use quality products so that it can last and stick on the mannequin head so that is one recommendation I would definitely make right now I'm just adding concealer like I would on a regular client under her eyes on the bridge of her nose, on her forehead, on her chin, you know, all those regular places that I would normally apply concealer and highlight. So, yeah, I'm just applying that same shade that I use for her eyebrows. So I was running out of space um, to record, so I apologize if you guys didn't see me apply the contour, but I did apply contour regularly like I would on a client. It's really self-explanatory, and I'm just using my brush that I used to blend out my concealer and the brush that I used to blend out my contour, and I'm just alternating between the two just so I can have like a seamless blend between the two. If you really look, you can see the concealer and the contour like seamlessly blending into each other if you really like look at the forehead. But <laughs> yeah, that's really what I'm doing right now. Just making sure that everything is blended nice and seamlessly. Right now I'm just adding a slightly lighter concealer just because I thought that it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. Like I just needed to be like a little bit brighter under her eyes. So I just added a lighter concealer and I'm just going to do the same thing and blend that out as well. So since I'm not setting with any powder or anything, I added concealer underneath that contour, as you guys can see, just to give it that nice, sharp effect underneath the contour. Alright, so you know a makeup look wouldn't be a makeup look without snatching that nose. So we're going to snatch the nose right now. We're going to add that darker shade just to, you know, contour the nose. I'm still working on contouring noses for some reason. I can't get it as snatched as I want, but I'm going to learn one day to get it like really, really tiny. Okay, so I'm moving on to adding shadow underneath the eyes and you're not going to see the part where I added like the lashes and stuff but I added like little fake lines for the eyelashes and I also added like individual lashes underneath to give it the illusion of lashes underneath um and right now I'm just adding like some lash glue because I just decided to like put glitter in it for some reason I felt like it was missing something so I added glitter
off camera I added on some lashes and I also added some freckles and blush as well I used a powder blush like I said that's the only powder that I really used um, besides the eyeshadow as well so for the lips I used the same brown lipstick that I used on the eyebrows for the lip liner and I used a regular lipstick that I use basically on all my clients so yeah guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed like i said i'm gonna have everything listed down in the description box if you guys want to attempt to do makeup on a mannequin head i just didn't have all the space to record all the steps but i'm gonna give you guys all the details down below so you know don't worry but yeah guys this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys try it on your own mannequin head one day and you know make that extra income as a makeup artist please like comment and subscribe to this channel if you guys want more videos and yeah guys thanks for watching bye